Hello everyone, I am Min Ho from DSP and ALF, Yonsei University. This is the presentation of our Interspeech 2020 paper, a cross-channel attention-based wavenet for multi-channel speech enhancement. The paper was written by Min Jun Ho, Min Jong Li, Bong Ki Li, Dong Hong Yi, and Hong Wu Kang. The content of our presentation is as following. Firstly, we will give an introduction about multi-channel speech enhancement, followed by highlight our motivation. Secondly, we will explain about the main part of our paper, the cross-channel attention by waving it. Next, we will show our experiment, including experiment setup, videos and analysis, some audio sample and spectrogram are provided for demonstration. Finally, we will end up our presentation with conclusion part. Now let's get started to the first part, introduction. Our works aim to find a solution for multi-channel speak enhancement problems. Multi-channel speak enhancement is a task to estimating the clean speech from more than one channels of noisy recordings. The figure at the middle of the slide shows the diagram of multi-channel speak enhancement. The noisy speech signals is combination of clean speech S and the noise signal N is recorded by multiple microphones. Then multi-channel speech enhancement model try to estimate the enhanced signal S hat. Our paper try to handle multi-channel speech enhancement with four challenging problems. Firstly, our model is capable to work in extremely low SNR conditions, which is in which beamforming based methods show poor and unreliable performance. Secondly, our model robustness is validated by varying both speech and noise position. Next, our model can work in room condition with taking the first order of ref reflection into account. The illustration of this is shown on the figure. So because of the reverberation received signal at all microphones is significantly retorted. Finally, we prove the performance of our model with minimum number of microphones with a small distance between them. Our work inspired by the introducing of attention mechanism in, for different applications in the UNES architectures aiming to learn where and which part to focus on given the input data. For, for the application of medical images, attention was introduced for the unit under the name of attention gate. The figure on the right illustrates where the attention focus on across different training approaches. As we can see from the, the figure, the model step-by-step -step learn to allocate the human organ the second paper inspired our work is attention tense unit for speech enhancement. The other of this paper utilize self-attention mechanisms to guide the model, concentrate on the high gate part, the high gate adena part of the input. The figure on the right visualize the attention grade according to according to different channels from channel one to channel six along the frequency axis. Attention try to highlight low frequency region, which is known to contain most of space information. On the channel axis, you try to select the channel with highest SNR, which is channel one. Motivated by these works, we develop our attention mechanism to effectively exploit characteristic of multi-channel data. For inter-channel characteristic in real life, speech signal are more consistent and correlated between channels compared to noise signal. In detail, the difference of clean signal is smaller in both time delays and amplitude. For intra-channel point of view, clean speech is considered to be more to be sparser and highly correlated. In addition, void activity region shows higher energy comparing to noisy, even in low as in a case. We introduce our proposed model to effectively exploit the advantage of this characteristic. 
In the next part, we will represent our main proposed model. First of all, the waveness is the time domain version of the famous unit structure. As we can see from the figure below, the unit structure contains the encoder, decoder, and skip connection to bring information from the encoder to decoder. For multi-channel cases, single-channel wavenet can be extended to multi-channel structure if the number of channels of the input is increased to match with the number of microphones. The second dimension of the input is considered at the feature map of the first convolution layers. We use the form of multi-channel speak enhancement as the baselines for the proposed model. So the main problem of using multi-channel wave net is that the first layer of the encoder mimics the behavior of beamforming, showing poor and unreliable performance in low SNR cases. Therefore, therefore, to provide flexibility for processing for the processing of each channel and to preserve and utilize cross-channel relationship in deeper layer, the encoder processes each channel independently. Feature maps from the encoder of each channel are used as input to the cross-channel attention block. Then are interchanged between channels. The detail of attention block will be described in the next slides. The feature map obtained by encoder of each channels and are then concatenated. After which they are projected onto one feature map using 1D convolution layer. When the number of channels is greater than two, one channel is chosen at a reference channel and feature maps are interchanged between the reference and other channels. In each decoding layer, feature maps extracted from the different encoder are then combined together by 1D convolution layer with side one instead of using a direct skip connection between the same level of layers as the baseline wave net. So in this slide, we will explain about the cross-channel attention module in detail. First of all, the objective of this module, as already stated at the previous part, is to effectively exploit the characteristic of multi-channel multi data in which, in which the voice activity region so higher energy and more consistent across different channels and the noise region so less power on voice activity part and more varying between channels. The detailed structure of attention block is as following. Firstly, we apply 1D convolution layer with hyper hyperbolic Kangen activation function to map the input feature of the attention block to the intermediate space the Tanghee activation function rescales the signal into the ring of minus one and one, which is useful for parameterized sigma function later on. The convolution layer can be used to reduce the complexity of the attention module by reducing the number of input, the, reducing the number of input feature map channels. Secondly, piecewise multiplication is, is applied in order to highlight the voice activity reason part. The absolute value is taken in order to indicate the noise path near the value of zero and the clean path near the value of one. Next, we produce the time domain softmax by parameterized sigmoid function. The detailed equation of this function is shown on the, on the slide. The parameter beta here control the threshold that increase the signal value greater than it when reducing the signal with smaller value. On the other hand, the parameter alpha controls the softness of the mask. A last value of alpha pushes the signal close to saturated value zero and one. After doing the soft map, signal is mapped back to original space by on another one convolution layer before multiplying to original signal. Finally, the residual connection is applied by piecewise addition to, in order to protect low-scale speed reason if it was missed features by the sigmoid activation and avoid feature map, repeat, avoid feature map value repeatedly reduced in deeper layers. 
<coughs> the Turing model, we use the weighted signal to distortion loss or weights at the loss. At this graph, describe in the equation, the, weight, the weighted SDR loss is the convex combination of the SDR loss of clean signal and the SDR loss of noise signal. The SDR loss aiming to directly optimize the objective measurement signal to, dis to distortion and the combination, combination weight alpha is defined at the energy ratio between the clean speech and the total energy of noisy signal. The table below summarizes other training parameters such as optimizer, learning rate, or bus size. Next, let's go to the experiment part. These lines show the experiment setup using in this paper. We use image search methods for simulating multi channel data from single channel wave files. The room simulation set setup is summarized on this table, and the area of pos possible noise position is illustrated as a gray, gray reason on the figure here. When the green curve here illustrates the possible position of the clean source. This line show the experiment results of our paper, we measure the performance of our model with three objective measurements, signal to detection rate improvement, the STOI and the phoneme error rate, which is calculated via using pre-train, listen, attend, and spare model. The table show our proposed model outperforms the baseline. And this is the spectrogram and audio sample of the noise type airport and the SNR equal zero. This is the clean signal. Please take this dirty tablecloth to the cleaners for me. This is the noisy signal of channel one. Please take this dirty tablecloth to the cleaners for me. This is the output of our model. Please take this dirty tablecloth to the cleaners for me. This line saw the visualization of attention mark in here. So the visualization of attention marks saw in the bottom left of the figure illustrate different masks behavior at different different tau sampling blocks. At early layer, at early layer. The mask focused on certain feature map channels. For example, at layer one, the masks highlight the second, the fifth, ninth, and thirteenth channels of feature maps. As we can see from the figure on the right, each channel highlight clean speak region where it had high energy and small amount of noise component. In detail, the second and the ninth one many present information of high frequency part high frequency part of the speech which related to perceived sound. The fifth and thirteenth channels contain harmonic information of speech, but did regard the low frequency noisy reason. At deeper layer, we can see that the shape of the mask gradually changed to handle time delayed related information, proving that the mask is trying to synchronize time delay between channels. For conclusion, the advantage of our approach, of our approach is that following. Firstly, the split channel encoder, encoder structure shows the robust need in low ethanol conditions, and it allows to preserve and process spatial information in deeper layer. The cross-channel attention block efficiently and effectively exploit multi-channel data characteristics, and our experiment results so superior performance in harsh conditions. For further development, we aim to design a tensor block to capture intra-channel temporal information, and also we aim to redesign the input processing scheme for coping with latency issue. This brings me to the end of our presentation. Thank you for watching.